Hi, I'm Jake. I'm Allie. And welcome to Trail Reviews with Allie and Jake. Woohoo! And today we're going to be watching the 2000 trailer for Shadow of the Vampire. We just recently did a movie reaction over on the Movie Buff Reactions channel to the 1922 Dracula adaptation Nosferatu. Ooh. And I thought this would be a good follow-up because Shadow of the Vampire is an interesting film. It's about the making of Nosferatu, but it goes on this old legend that Max Schreck, the actor who played Count Dracula, Count Orlock in that 1922 film, actually was a vampire. Because <laughs> people were just so engrossed in his chilling performance that they got the idea that he was a real creature of the night <laughs> and that this was his only film. So, some filmmakers in 2000 decided, let's make a movie about the making of Nosferatu, but play it as if the legend was real. I love that. The film stars John Malkovich as the Nosferatu director, F.W. Murno, and Willem Dafoe as Max Schreck. You enjoyed Nosferatu, if I remember. I did. Yes, I did. So, see how you react to this. Roll camera. Iris in. Begin. It's been a fitful night, but you wake refreshed. What is that beside you? It's a book about vampires. Nosferatu. <laughs> Director F.W. Murnau had an obsession to create the world's most realistic vampire movie. Meet Count Orlock. An overture to our symphony of horrors. He dug up an actor. I'd like some makeup. Well, you don't get him. <laughs> he didn't just play the part. But you're not feeding. No, you're not drinking her blood. He lived it. What is the matter with you? Where did you find him, really? From Lionsgate Films and producer Nicolas Cage yeah. comes the haunting tale of the uncompromising. You, you will have no close-ups now. The unimaginable. <laughs> and the undead. <laughs> Academy Award nominees John Malkovich. I will finish my picture. And Willem Dafoe. This is hardly your picture any longer. Shadow <laughs> of the Vampire. Why not the script girl? <laughs> Eat her later. <laughs> How does Shadow of the Vampire look? I love it. Because the whole time in Nosferatu, I was so curious as to how they made it. So I would already be interested in watching a film about how they made that movie. But then to incorporate a real vampire, I love that idea. Yeah, just keep in mind. Not the real story, I... but a version of the real story. Yeah. And Willem Dafoe, he was nominated for Best Supporting Actor for his performance as Max Shrek. Oh. Didn't win, but he still got the nomination. And it was actually his performance in Shadow of the Vampire that got him cast as the Green Goblin in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. A classic. And you can kind of see certain elements there with the <laughs> creepiness. Mm -hmm. And the thing about this trailer, because I've seen Shadow of the Vampire and I did like it, but the trailer is a little misleading. Really? The trailer wow. has kind of a hyper, um, almost action type pace to it. Yeah. Shadow of the Vampire is, despite its subject matter, a very quiet, slow-paced uh, movie. That is not what I'd expect. <laughs> so yeah, the trailer it does what trailers do. They try to hype it up, make it look like something you want to see. Not to say it's bad, I did like it quite a lot. I just, uh, it was a different movie than the one marketed to me. Mm -hmm. But Defoe, in the clips you saw here, is completely menacing as Max Shrek. Yeah, he does a great job. When told not to eat any more crew members, because yeah. they won't have anybody left to make the film, <laughs> he's like, I don't think that we need the writer any longer. 
<laughs> I don't expect you to understand this, and I am low to admit it myself, but the writer is necessary. And of course, John Malkovich, yeah. who you might be familiar with. Yeah, I've definitely seen him. He's been in so many things. Mm -hmm. He is great as F.W. Murnau, a pretty immoral director who wants to get his film made, and the only reason the deaths bother him is because it sets them back and costs him more money. Yeah, he goes, I will finish my film. I remember that line. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I have to go back to Berlin to get a new one, putting us more behind. Like, oops, sorry, human. Whatever, your life means nothing. <laughs> And as mentioned, Nicolas Cage was yeah. the film's producer. You didn't tell me that. What the heck? He's not involved in the film as an actor. He's just the producer. Which, what does a producer even mean? Because I feel it, like it means so many things. It means you get the money, you <laughs> arrange the production, Got it. you make sure the director isn't going overboard. Got it. Make sure everything goes smoothly as possible. Mm -hmm. Basically, a producer is a glorified money man. I was gonna say, yeah. But Cage does have a passion for silent films. The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, which was highlighted in that film Cage did earlier this year, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. In that film, just like in real life, it's one of his all-time favorite movies. Mm. But Cage has a genuine love for silent era horror films. Yeah, oh, interesting. Uh, no, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Did I kill? I can't remember. So yeah, that would be a nice follow-up to Nosferatu, and maybe someday I can show you Shadow of the Vampire. Yeah, I'd love to. Just, uh... Be prepared for a little bit of pretentiousness. Oh, I'm always prepared for pretentiousness. <laughs> you think you know so much. <laughs> we will see you again soon for the holiday season. Hope everybody has a nice Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.